I'm just punching in some of my friends. Don't worry about it. They'll be here. <laughs> hey, that's not fair to the employees who are here on time. Mom, you can't do that. You know what? They told me that I couldn't push out that big head of yours, but I did that too. It's a condom. Mom, that's a wet nap. <laughs> that sign outside, no smoking? Is that just for the kids or for everybody? <laughs> that's for everyone. It, it, how long is the play? Just under 20 minutes. I'll catch it on Broadway. <laughs> State your name. You know my name. State your name. Ernesto Cárdenas. This dope will do anything. Skip around like a pony and slap your own ass. Hurry! I'm working. What do you want? I don't know. A cup of coffee, a muffin? A reason why you told me my dad was dead for 36 years? Here's a muffin. One out of three ain't bad. Oh, How come every time I babysit, your dad hides the beer? <laughs> There's all this dark stuff in Mr. Needle's ears. Yeah? Does it smell bad? Oh. Oh, it does. What does that mean? Oh, it just means that I can still trick you into smelling things. <laughs> does this taste funny? <laughs> he grabbed my butt. When? All right, I put his hand there, but he took his sweet time pulling it away. Lalo, Manny. Manny, Lalo. Huh. Forget it. I'll find Lalo and ask him no, Wait, 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 wait. A mother knows the father of her own baby? So who is it then? <laughs> One potato, oh, two potatoes. If it wasn't for this man, I wouldn't be here. I guess 19 hours of working that big head through my pelvis doesn't mean jack. This is my new cause. It's job training to rehabilitate former gang members. This group's learning how to make a living grooming dogs. <laughs> hey, well, I think this is a great idea. Let all the hoodlums know where you live. And you know what? Save yourself some time. Lay out your valuables and hog tie yourself. I met a guy at Home Depot. He's coming over tomorrow. Well, if he works there, he probably knows his stuff. Oh, he doesn't work there. He was in the parking lot hanging around with a bunch of guys. They were passing around a beer, and when it got to me, I started talking to him. Wait a minute. You're having a guy you don't know come over to your house? Hey, it's not like I didn't ask him for his ID. He just didn't have any. I brought you your money. Well, where are you keeping it? In your neck wallet? What the hell is that thing? Number one, make sure I'm dead. Number two, Make sure I'm dead. <laughs> Number three, do not let them put me in the ground without doing my eye makeup, okay? And I would like for it to be powder blue to match my gown. <laughs> and also, you know, have them arch my eyebrows, but, but not too much so I, I don't look like I'm surprised, you know, like somebody got me from behind. <laughs> Come on, Mom, you're creeping me out. This is stupid. You're not going to die for a long, long time. What are you doing? This is what it's going to look like. <laughs> oh, but not exactly. I don't want to be buried in a bra. These things hurt after four hours. Oh, come on, Mom, stop it. Get up. No, no, I'm just, I'm just saying, picture them more to the sides. <laughs> she wrote, Carmen can't say no Pez on my locker. Hey, thank God our last name isn't Tucker. <laughs> How do you like your steak? <laughs> you never asked me that before. What's wrong with it? The dog licked it. <laughs> I fed you worse, medium rare. Do you know what this means? Yeah, that your father never learned how to use a damn condom. <laughs> he was married to my mom. <laughs> well, I... You weren't married? I tried to tell you when oh. you were two. I tried again when you were three, but... Okay, I'll go get my gift. Mom, why don't you give Angie yours? Gloria kiss me, right? Oh, yeah, I believe you. She flirts with everybody. She would tongue a cow for cream in her coffee. <laughs> Gloria's not down here yet? Man, you cannot get that girl out of bed. 
No kidding. <laughs> Screw you and the homeless people sleeping under your breasts. <laughs> you know what I hate? You can't smoke in restaurants, but a mother can pull out her chichis to feed a baby. <laughs> you treat the boy better. But you know, Carmen's got to get used to it. <laughs> Women get really screwed in this world. I cannot tell you how much easier my life would have been if I had had something dangling between my legs. Benny, do you want to take a poopy before you go in the car? <laughs> I don't think that's any of your business. Come on, Benny. Meet Benny. Oh, yeah, I heard he named the dog after me. You know, I should name something after him, too. Here's my number. OK. But let it ring. I might be on the Manny. Oh. Before I married you, my life was just fine without love and support. Right, Mom? I hardly knew you were there. <laughs> It's a letter your father wrote you when you were four. Why didn't you ever give it to me? I think I just did. Don't be surprised if someday I come back from break with a smile on my face and my dress on backwards. George Lopez, Bill Johnson, and Lo Lo. Randall's my lover. <laughs> 42. And hair. <laughs> What, what do you mean, lover? <laughs> well, I don't want to say anything in front of the kids, but what this man does better and longer than that man. <laughs> it would be a real shame if all of your horses died in a barn fire. <laughs> And then you died in a house fire, knowing right before you all of your horses had just died in the barn fire. Just signal me when you want a hair flip. Horse! <laughs> Did Randy pressure you into doing something you were uncomfortable with? Yeah, he did. He told me that it would be okay and that all the cool grandmas are doing it. Kill him for giving me this. This is why I didn't want you to date. Mom, you're too old. You should be closing up the shop by now. Well, the shop is still open, and now there's a cleanup in aisle two. What's the name of the family that adopted her? Let's see. Wait, wait. It was Mr. and Mrs. Mind Your Own Business. You're lucky I kept you, Berg. <laughs> you're taking this a little too seriously, Vic. Why don't you take some of that cologne and put it on a rag, pop it over her mouth, and drag her away, huh? Wow. Mom! If I was 35 years younger, he would have been your daddy, George. Maybe you could practice closing that rope. I'm starting to catch a little plantain action out of the corner of my eye. Whoa! Time to take these puppies off the leash. <laughs> that the factory should have the best damn manager it can. And you are the only guy. <laughs> you know what? I just can't pull it off when it's too ridiculous. Look. Oh, it's like two manatees fighting over one head of lettuce. And how many parts would you say you inspect in a day? Not as many as your wife. <laughs> Sometimes crap just happens, you know? Planes crash, buses fall off cliffs, and, and it looks like your mother did it with a frog. What are you going to do? But you do it when you're 15. I did it when I was 14. <laughs> you had a quinceanera? Okay. Oh. Keep them coming and don't stop until I'm deaf in both ears. And so this is the beginning of my journey. And he would be crushed if Jamie couldn't come. He's crazy about her. Him. I'm sorry, him. <laughs> I've had a few. <laughs> it's your birthday. Here's your song. Now your song is over. All right, go. Oh, oh my goodness. Fell right on the ground. Can't eat it. Let's go. <laughs> there has to be an adult here. Absolutely. Next time. <laughs> Having a female grandmother will be good for them. Oh.
Lucky for you, drag queens count. <laughs> I'm feeling a little responsible here, Manny. <laughs> I prayed for your death for a long time. Benny, your prayers didn't cause this. Okay. But I specifically asked for kidney disease. <laughs> Mom! And he has no other options. Well, there's one I like. It sounds like this. Beep, 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 beep. Mom! I brought home the bacon. I gave you your first beer. I, I taught you how to shave. Yeah, all on the same day. George, if you hadn't been drunk, those cuts would have hurt. Well, I'm not going. I was married to the guy. I saw enough of him laying down and not moving. Well, I got my own headache medicine. It's also good for arthritis and depression. Possible side effects. Waking up in a field with your panties on your head. Why don't we play a new game? It's called Get the Ball from the Neighbor's Rottweiler. And we took away TV for a month. Wow. <laughs> A month without the stupid talking sponge. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> what we call discipline is now child abuse. <laughs> Keeping an eye on your man is now stalking. <laughs> Hell, back then, no meant yes. Well, at least it did to me. <laughs> Okay, never mind. We've given free makeovers to homeless women to help them with their self-esteem. Oh, that's so nice. You know, it's good to look your best when you're having a shouting match with a lamppost. <laughs> Remember when you were little and I took you to Disneyland? <laughs> yeah. It was just a carnival in a church parking lot. <laughs> But there was Disney characters there. Nope. Nope. Those dwarves you were hugging? They were just dwarves. Because, ladies, beautiful hair is what keeps your man happy. I've been coming here since he was in diapers. Since you were in diapers. I even changed your diapers on this pool table. I used to powder your butt with the blue chalk. They wouldn't last one night at my house. You know, they would probably start crying the very first time they had to drink water out of the tap. Oh, it's slightly yellow. Pick your shoes untied. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'm late for work. Well, there's no hiding Max's boxing now. You're gonna have to face your wife. I'm not going to insult you. I just have a message for you. Willy Wonka called. He wants you back at the factory right away. <laughs> Hope to see you later tonight. Bring beer and plenty of cash. Thank you, Benny, but I do not pay for the sex. No, but you do pay for the house where your ex-wife and her boyfriend are doing it, so you are paying for the sex. You're just not getting any. <laughs> this is a game of honor. <laughs> you must save a lot of money on bras. I am not crazy. Why do you think I rubbed pee on your face when you were a baby? I'm getting my license. I'm going to driving. Okay, now, if you had done that when the cop pulled us over, I would still have my car. You sit in a log and ride over a waterfall. You know, that's how the Canadians sneak into the country. Mom, if my shower massager could mow the lawn, I would never talk to another man again. Why don't you act like your hair and disappear? Two cute boyfriends in a row. <laughs> hey, you know what? Maybe I should start wearing my jeans real low like that. 
You had better be careful. Some night you're gonna be eating beans and you're gonna get all screwed up and say, I love you, corn. <laughs> this is the biggest tub of popcorn I've ever seen and it still doesn't cover your head. <laughs> George, I found Zach and I stopped him good! Who? Mel, your son has been in a terrible accident. You took me to the dentist once. Anything to stop that whining. Oh, oh, the air hurts my teeth. I was figuring what I spent raising you minus how much you mean to me, and you owe me $275. <laughs> I did the alphabet backwards with the cop's flashlight in my eyes. Huh? And you cannot even figure out that Frog and Toad were friends. Jeez. Back in the day, we had some fun at Mardi Gras, didn't we? Here's one more for old time's sake. Mom! off with a guy and then if he went too far you slapped him now if, if slapping was your thing it got a little confusing mom <laughs> you know a real lady would turn around and allow me to cover myself I believe we're having what the cowboy movies call a Mexican standoff. <laughs> Looks more like we've got a Cuban Missile Crisis. <laughs> Did you see all that roadkill? Those weren't accidents. Those animals were trying to end it all. We hit a squirrel, and I swear I heard it whisper, Bless you, stranger. <laughs> It was a real kiss. Are you kidding? It was all teeth and whiskers. It was like a dog trying to get peanut butter off its face. <laughs> it's a hickey. Boy, dinner and a show. <laughs> I was gonna spend my last few years at a Vegas craps table with a smoke in one hand and an oxygen tank in the other. You know, when I was a kid, I got a black eye for Christmas and I said, thank you. I'm distracted with my body. <laughs> I've destroyed with my body. I remember a time when I distracted one guy while I destroyed the other. This is gonna happen one of two ways. Planned and protected or hot and spontaneous. Mom! They both have their advantages. One way you don't get pregnant. The other way, wow. <laughs> The magic wand that can make men disappear. There were a few guys right before him. And Ernie was the prize? <laughs> they always pick the whore. <laughs> Truth hurts, don't it? <laughs> I saw her, she was all crying and needy. <laughs> she was four days old. <laughs> People don't change. <laughs> you big babies, it was just an aftershock. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> you should have an inspector over, because you might be able to get money from the government for your butt your boobs, and everything else that's fallen down around you. I don't want you here when that baby comes. If anybody is gonna crawl around this house with a bottle, it's gonna be me. You know, when I first met them... Just shut up and play. I am taking my losing lotto scratchers, painting over them with this silver nail polish, and then I'm selling them to the neighborhood kids. I took a lose-lose, turned it into a win-win. Come on, you could barely read. 
You walked out of Star Wars. There were too many words at the beginning. <laughs> mommy, mommy, you fooled me. That was a moving book. <laughs> this is so sick. You are using my daughter to win me over. <laughs> What, am I way off? <laughs> you and George are on a team against the two people Linda will never sleep with. <laughs> and the mother-daughter team who got tongued by the Harry Cuban. <laughs> I'll see if they did anything. <laughs> no, nothing. She's still got that dumb, goofy look. <laughs> If she had hooked up with that, she would be like, you know, glowing. <laughs> hey, the cute delivery guy left this out front. Why didn't he come to the door? He asked if I was willing to accept a package. We had a little misunderstanding. Oh. It took you 16 years to screw Carmen up. It took you 13 years to screw Max up. It only took a couple of days to screw Jason up. <laughs> You're getting good at this. You ruined my life. Don't listen to her, George. You didn't ruin her life, you ruined Jason's. <laughs> I had the love of my life leave me. Well, he didn't really leave me, he got taken away. Mm. Actually sent away because of my testimony. How the hell could you be pregnant? You're 16. Wow, deja vu. <laughs> This same fight with my dad when I was 16, except he was chasing me through the neighborhood with a machete. <laughs> that was back when they let you be a parent. So did anything survive the fire? Just this stupid ashtray. Look at that. <laughs> this is the handprint I made you in first grade. It meant more to me when I thought it was an ashtray. How you holding up? It's called a bra. You wouldn't know about it. <laughs> So maybe I did blow a little money, but as soon as this kid makes this field goal, I am gonna win it all back. Crap! <laughs> Who misses a 20-yard field goal? <laughs> I don't need your stinking money. There is a flag on the plate, and there is no way that this loser is gonna miss another 20-yard field goal. Crap! <laughs> Wait, there's another flag. Oh, really? No, I'm just playing with your sickness. I mean, when you were crying as a kid, I didn't ask you why you were crying. I just, you, I held you. Too much? Since you've been gone, I've been getting some respect around there. Well, that ends tomorrow. Because I'm gonna go back to work and I'm gonna tell everybody how my little girl <laughs> was running out because she was being chased by a teacup poodle. <laughs> that dog's a hundred pound killer. Not in my story. <laughs> I had a bunch of money saved up, but then I had some unforeseen expenses. Are you gambling again? No. Mom. It's not gambling when it's a sure thing. <laughs> that stupid horse broke its leg. <laughs> The jockey fell off and got paralyzed. It's always me. Something always happens to me. Go to bed, Carmen. <laughs> We're going to his place. Are we? Have we thought through all the consequences of our actions? <laughs> for a ride, not a buzz kill. I'm dropping you off at the filthiest, most disgusting motel I can find. Oh, the safari on Sepulveda's pretty nasty. <laughs> I, I hear. But you have to promise me that you'll never, ever drink and drive. <laughs> I'm serious, drop it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you felt so strongly about this. It was Halloween night. You'd be crying too if you were snuck out in your mom's purse because she didn't want to pay the bill. I was 
was afraid they would charge me more because your head was the size of two babies. I lied to you about your age so you could start kindergarten a year later. What? I'm a year older than I thought I was? Happy birthday. You want to know what your real name is? George is my real name. If that's what you need to believe, Fernando. Why don't we make this a drinking game? We'll do a shot every single time George used the word dude. Mm. Dude, I love you so much, dude. Dude, you totally rock, dude. I'm so serious, dude. Hey, good night, dude. I'm going up now, dude. Last night, she came home drunk with a guy, and they started getting busy on the couch. She kept you up? No. I was doing the same thing. It just, you know... It turned into this freaky kind of competition. This is Andrew and Tina. We're doing premarital counseling for them. Holy crap. <laughs> You're giving marriage advice? Where are you going after this? A driving lesson with Stevie Wonder? Oh, I got kicked out of the casino. Apparently, Tony Orlando doesn't like to have panties thrown at him. You went to a Tony Orlando concert? No, he was playing blackjack. I have a wedding planning business that's doing very well. Thank you. Please. Your business is so bad, people from New Orleans are sending you money. How come you never told me I had talent when I was a kid? Oh, I'm sorry, George. I should have told you. You did have a special talent. No one can wet the bed like you. Man, when Ernie wants many donuts, there's no stopping him, huh? If he says he's working late, he's cheating. If he goes to the store, he's cheating. Men never get off the couch unless they're cheating. <laughs> anyway, congratulations on your oh-so-magical day. I know that I have got the highest number, so like I told the guy I picked up at Thirsty's last night, cut the chit-chat and give Mama what she came for. <laughs> Preferred age range? Um, legal and up. Okay. <laughs> What's your idea of a fun date? Cock fights are fun. I'm gonna put down bird watching. <laughs> Hobbies. Um, drinking, smoking, gambling. Ideal companion. Drinker, smoker, gambler. I ran into one of your ex-boyfriends at the convenience store. Mom, you remember Eddie? Eddie Garcia? Eddie Johnson? Eddie Camacho. No, you guys had something special. <laughs> Big Eddie Bergman. <laughs> Fast Eddie. Freaky Eddie. Mom! Slow, steady, sweaty Eddie. I never want to see you again! So who's gonna bail you out? <laughs> I'll see you one more time. <laughs> it started out like any other day. I was on my way to church. <laughs> from, um, from the soup kitchen. Before I started my shift at the Braille Institute. <laughs> what? This is crazy! Now there are murderers and rapists running around loose on the streets, and you are gonna put me in jail? You are the 12 dumbest people I've ever seen! Mom! What? They're still sentencing. I'm sorry I shouted. It's the hormones. I'm pregnant. Don't make me have my baby in jail. Step up to the plate. Before she licks it clean. Oh no, not the cheaters guys again! seniors around tonight. They're out front. I'm taking my dinner break. So you totally left them in the van? What if they wander off? 
No, no, I took away all of their canes and walkers. <laughs> Those three steps down to the ground might as well be the Grand Canyon. <laughs> We just found out a child molester lives up the street. I'll get my gun. Benny! <laughs> You're on probation. You can't have a gun. Relax. I'm not an idiot. It's not registered to me. I didn't see you at church last Sunday. Because my Saturday night was still going on Sunday morning. <laughs> Why are you trying to frame Ruth? I wasn't trying to frame her. I, I'm in trouble, see? <laughs> I, I owe a guy money. His name is Mike. Mike Row Wave, because uh, he heats up fast. And he has got a pretty mean enforcer named Jimmy the Dish Rack. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> I'm moving very slow. Don't spray me. That reminds me, I have a ham to defrost. Thanks for nothing. Why don't you get some chairs that work? I can take you to Vic's guy right now. <laughs> Never. You know what, Benny? You don't have to go to therapy. You, you can come downstairs with me, and we can go online and read inspirational stories of real people who have climbed this mountain and come out on the other side, safe and whole. Big guy it is. I'll meet you in the car. My foot won't stop hurting. <laughs> you drove over it! <laughs> You knew I was drinking. You shouldn't have been playing on the lawn, George. You're gonna try? <laughs> Good luck. I watched you try to learn to skateboard, ride a bike, use a toilet. You fell over and hit your head every time. You're worried about me. Yes, it's all about you. <laughs> Why does the sun rise in the morning? Because George is afraid of the dark. You coming over for dinner tomorrow, Mom? Oh, yeah, I'll be there. I forgot to tell you, we canceled it. I wasn't coming anyway. <laughs>